Greenhouse gases cause global warming. They act as a blanket around the Earth, trapping the heat within the Earth's atmosphere. This increases global temperature. Small changes in average temperature can change weather patterns, causing drought in some areas and flooding in others. Some greenhouse gases, such as nitrous oxides, also form acid rain, which injures plants, preventing them from taking up the nutrients needed for growth, and damages the ozone layer, allowing harmful UV radiation emitted by the sun to reach the Earth's surface. Grasslands cover approximately one-fifth of the Earth's surface and are complex ecosystems formed through herbivore vegetation, soil, atmosphere interactions, and agricultural or other land management practices. In the UK, grasslands cover around one-third of land surface and are a major carbon store, holding around 30% of the UK total soil carbon. Soil is a mixture of mineral and organic material and contains large amounts of carbon and nitrogen. Carbon and nitrogen can be fixed by bacteria and fungi living in the soil, taken up by plants for growth or released as the greenhouse gases carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. Because of the damage caused by greenhouse gases we want to reduce the amount released from soils and increase the amount of carbon and nitrogen stored in soils to help combat climate change. It has been shown that both the absence of grazers and overgrazing increases greenhouse gas emissions. However we do not know an awful lot about why this happens. In order to try to understand why I will monitor a number of factors such as the diversity of life above and within the soil and how grazing affects soil parameters such as the ability to retain moisture. I will do this by comparing measurements made in enclosures, which grazers cannot enter, to measurements made in grazed areas. This will help produce a model which will look at how these factors affect one another. I also want to see how different agricultural management practices affect soil greenhouse gas release to try to answer questions like, does keeping sheep cause greater greenhouse gas emissions from soil than keeping cattle? What effect does high intensity grazing have compared to low intensity grazing? And are new grazing management strategies, such as mob grazing, better than traditional practices? My name is Melanie Jane, and I'm a PhD student at the University of Manchester. At present, Stroke is the second leading cause of death across the whole world. So what can we do about stroke to prevent people dying or being left disabled? 